Here's one for you to chew on, folks. This Dr. Tadros fella here, he's the head of the World Health Organization, and he's also a member of the World Economic Forum. He's a good friend of Klaus's. Well, the World Health Organization has on the table what they call the Global Pandemic Treaty. And in that treaty, it states that in the event of another pandemic, they can override the constitutional rights of any country in the world. So for you people down in the States, that means they say no more Second Amendment for y'all. This is serious shit. Pay attention, people. Hey guys, it's Marcel Ernie Racy News. I'm going to show you some footage from the WHO, the World Health Organization, and their pandemic treaty that's been in the pipeline for over a year now. I'm going to start doing a story on this soon, so pay attention. Dear colleagues and friends, as you know, there have been several reviews of the global response to the pandemic with many recommendations for strengthening global health security. They all recognize the need for better systems and tools, better financing, including for global public goods such as vaccines, better global governance, and a stronger, empowered, and sustainably financed WHO. To connect and underpin these ideas, I believe the time is right for an international treaty or other legally binding instrument to provide the framework for a more coherent and coordinated response to future epidemics and pandemics. Whatever new structures or mechanisms are established, they must promote equity and galvanize the engagement and ownership of all countries. They must be multi-sectoral, involving partners from across the One Health spectrum. They must be coherent with the international health regulations. They must be rooted in the constitutional mandate of WHO. And they must be accountable and transparent. Thank you for your engagement in discussing and analyzing the legal tools available for pandemic preparedness as we prepare for the special session of the World Health Assembly in November. The pandemic has taught us many lessons. The most important is that we're one species sharing one planet and we have no future but a shared future. I thank you. This is the story that everyone needs to be talking about and investigated. It affects all the countries of the world.